morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at, well, the best Pokemon TCG products that are available right now, or in the very near future. This is a question, I, I still get this question very regularly from people all over the place. Hey, Wossy, what should I buy for this? I'm a new player, what should I buy in order to get me going? My kid wants Pokemon cards for their birthday, what should I buy them, etc, etc. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is something that hopefully, at least, I can very much help with. So let's start off in the way we usually do with what you should get if you want to be building a collection. What should collectors go for? What should you buy to give yourself some cool stuff in your collection? Well, I told you this one before. So, okay, the Yokohama deck. But you're on your kind of last warning for this one. Basically, my goal here, when I do this video, my goal is to basically show you what you should get to build your collection. But if you've got like infinite money, you can just go buy anything. The whole point here is to show you stuff that's coming out now that are going to be kind of good showpieces for your collection. And the Yokohama deck absolutely fits. It comes in a beautiful tin. It's got the stunning Pikachu promo. I have actually done an opening of this on my channel. And fine, I did the opening in my hotel room in Yokohama. Come on, I opened the Yokohama deck in Yokohama. What could be more perfect? So yeah, go check that one out. But this is a very, very cool deck. Here's the problem. There was a lottery on the Pokemon Center where some people got this deck. Yay! That's it. Now, they then made it available at Worlds, and this was actually really quite available at Worlds. As far as I'm aware, like, everyone that wanted one got one. Loads of people managed to get multiples, etc. There is still a second lottery hanging out there for this deck over on the Pokemon Center in Japan, over on online. But that's about it. The resale for this has come down, but not really as far as I would have personally liked. And frankly, it's going to get worse. Like, as soon as it starts getting worse, it's going to keep getting worse, and then it's going to be gone forever. So, this is very much an, if you can get this at a decent price, highly recommend this. Please bear in mind that now we've had Worlds, this is going to start going up and probably not come back down again. Uh, if you want something else, Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes. I've said these before. I'm going to say them again. I love Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes. Right now, we've got uh, pre-orders up for Paradox Rift. And there are two versions of them. You've got the future one featuring Iron Valiant and the ancient one featuring Roaring Moon. And these are ones where if you pre-order them well in advance on the Pokemon Center, you're golden. And if you don't, you end up not being able to get hold of them for love nor money. You have been warned. Remember, they do come with promos. The regular one. They both come with a regular promo. And then the Pokemon Center exclusive also comes with a stamped promo. So I'll show you the Charmander from Obsidian Flames. Just because I can't show you the ones from these because they haven't actually been revealed yet. Doesn't matter. We know they're going to be cool. Get them before it's too late, ladies and gentlemen. You have been warned. The fact that they are Pokemon Center exclusive and when the set comes out, there's generally one last restock and then that's it. They're gone. The fact that they have exclusive stamped promos in, etc. These are awesome. Do bear in mind also that Pokemon card or Scarlet and Violet as it actually is over here. 151 isn't out yet. That release is near, I think it's the 22nd of September. So... I know they're showing a sold out at the moment, but they should be coming back into stock with that lovely stamped Snorlax. So that is one to look out for as well. Obsidian Flames, I'm going to be honest with you, you've probably missed it at this point. I'm sorry, although I did warn you. But certainly in terms of 151 and Paradox Rift, they are available, they are cool, and these are things that are not terribly expensive, you know, when you compare to some other high-end products. But once they're gone on the release of the set, they tend to be gone and they tend not to come back. Now, if you are learning to play the Pokemon TCG, it's never been easier. My first battle comes out on the 29th of September, less than a month now, and this is the one. Now, weirdly, from a collecting standpoint, this is actually pretty cool because you get 17 card decks, but they're 
exclusive cards. Like, every card is exclusive. They've got different card backs. But you got one featuring Pikachu and Bulbasaur. you got one featuring Charmander and Squirtle. Four decks in total. They are 17 card decks. I have a five-year-old daughter that I am going to teach to play the Pokemon TCG on my birthday because these release on my birthday. So my mother-in-law is going to buy them for me for my birthday. And then I'm going to teach my daughter how to play and it's going to be amazing. This, however, is very much for kids. This is a super, 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 super intro thing. For older people wanting to learn to play, it's a Battle Academy. And although there is an older version, I think at this point you want the one with Score Bunny on the front. Although if you find another version cheaper, obviously go for that one if you wish. But basically, this gives you three decks that don't hit for weakness... And this is, I mean, the way I always describe it is the Pokemon TCG reimagined as a board game. Simple as that. Three decks that you can pick one up, have a play, switch around the decks. There's a nice sturdy board. Jobs are good. And this is really good for learning how to play. When you've learned how to play with this, your first reaction is probably going to be, I want some new decks. Oh, I don't know how to deck build. Nice and simply. Go and buy EX decks, like the upcoming Kangaskhan and Greninja decks, because they are decks that are around about on the same level as the ones in the Battle Academy, but they have exclusive promos. The Kangaskhan is an exclusive alternate art, although the card can be found in Pokemon Card 151, and the Greninja is actually an exclusive card that cannot be found anywhere else. Which is honestly kind of cool. Uh, worth noting there is also an Amphros and a uh, Lucario that are actually full on exclusive, not alternate art. So, you know, there are a bunch of, all, the, all of them are either alternate art or exclusive. But Amphros, Lucario and Greninja, they would be my first ports of call personally because they are like legitimately exclusive cards that can't be found elsewhere. Which I think makes them more cool. If you want to learn to play competitively, here's the thing, right? I've been telling you for a while, League Battle Decks. And that's still the answer, incidentally. There are two League Battle Decks you should be thinking about. And that is the Palkia League Battle Deck and the Mew League Battle Deck. They are the two most recent. They are the two best. If you can find any others cheaply, then by all means go for any of them. But anyone other than these two are going to be quite out of date. There's going to be a bunch of rotated cards. The decks aren't going to look that familiar. But they're still going to be good for learning to play good decks. The thing is, we're, we're due a new one of these. And I'm sure it'll be announced before too long, but we're due a new one of these. Uh, yeah, it actually got announced between making this video and uploading it. So I'm just adding this in from the future. Because there is a Maraid on the X League Battle Deck. It's out. It's official. It was not out. But it is coming in November. And it features Maridon, two of, with two Regilecki V and two Regilecki V Max. And a Forest Seal Stone, which is like a $20 card on its own. So, yeah, this is one I cannot recommend highly enough when it drops. What is also out, and there's going to be a new version coming out in the not-too-distant future. Worlds decks. There are four different Worlds decks. And these are non tournament legal reprints of decks that won or did very well at the world championships last year now the ones from london are out at the moment you'll notice funnily enough there is a mew deck and then you've also got the league battle deck these are cool because they are proper decks that you can learn to play properly these are great for learning competitive players to learn complicated decks however do bear in mind they're not tournament legal also worth waiting for the Yokohama decks when they drop, because they are going to be, again, a bit more recent. Now, for experienced players, I mean, look, we've talked about this before. Packs, anything with packs or singles. Do not buy constructed decks for experienced players. It's going to be a waste of time. I have had these as presents in the past, and I really appreciated the thought and the effort, but there was nothing I could realistically do with them. Because if I wanted them, I already had them. Anything with packs could give cool stuff. Or you can just, you know, get them singles. And I know buying singles isn't necessarily the, the coolest way to do it. But I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, buying cards for their deck, that is actually probably a good shout. The set on the screen at the moment is Obsidian Flames. That is the most recent set which has just gone and released. The next set coming out is going to be Paradox Rift. 
That's going to be coming out in November. So, you know, if you, if you want to know what the most recent sets are, they are the ones. Honestly, with experienced players, you probably should just ask them and they'll tell you. Sorry. Now, in terms of presents for kids, I'm going to make it really simple this time. I'm going to give you three things and it's all going to be nice and simple. When Pokemon 151 comes out, which is not very long now, we have EX boxes featuring Alakazam and Zapdos. And these are very, very cool. They feature a guaranteed EX, Alakazam or Zapdos. Either two promos with Alakazam, it's your Abra and your Kadabra. For Zapdos, it's your Electabuzz and your Jumbo Zapdos. And then four packs. But these get packs of Pokemon card 151 or Scarlet and Violet 151, which is the new set which only features Pokemon from Gen 1. Even kids like Gen 1 best because it's got all the favorites in. This should be, if you buy them, and the pull rates we are imagining is going to be a little bit cooler because there are a few extra kind of illustration rares to normal. This should be the set to go for. So, normally I give you a bunch of different options. This time, I'm going to go nice and simple. Buy the EX decks. They're about 20 bucks. 22 maybe. Or, if you want to go a little bit cheaper, buy the mini tins, which are like two packs for 10 bucks. And then you get the tin, and kids love the tins, and a coin and all of that. But these are really cool, because you get packs of 151, and they're very cheap. As far as I'm concerned, focus on 151. That is what kids are really going to be liking. That is going to be a set which is going to interest them. There we go. Nice definitive answer. And then we're going to finish as we always do with a Wassy pick. I'm going to give you two and they've both just released. And it depends whether you're feeling spooky or festive. If you're feeling spooky, trick or trade. Now, these are awesome. This is, they're the Halloween ones. They're free card packs. But you get like 50 free card packs for 20 bucks. They're hilariously cheap. Also, incidentally... For anyone that's got the funds and enough people visiting their house at Halloween, I've got, I can go and buy some of these, but no one comes to my house for Halloween. My house is really out of the way. But get some of these to give to the neighborhood kids that come around on Halloween. I promise you, you'll be popular if you do. Do it. It's going to be a great idea. But these are super, super cheap. You will get the whole set from a pack. And they're just reprinted cards with Halloween stamps on. They're really cool. I love them. I've got a collection from last year. You'd better believe I'm going to get a collection from this year. They are awesome. The other one we've got coming out is the holiday calendar. And I showed you the other day the promos that are in this. And this is really simple. It is an advent calendar full of Pokemon cards. Now, I will say they've changed the ratios a tiny bit. So instead of six real booster packs and six free card fun packs, not anywhere near as fun as the Halloween packs, ironically... Instead of getting a 6-6 six, six split, you now get five regular packs and seven fun packs, which are much less fun than a regular booster pack, which is a bit upsetting. But you still get exclusive stamped promos, a bunch of packs and some other cool stuff. And if you can, my advice is actually just wait for Halloween and do it one at a time. Actually do it one day at a time going through like a proper advent calendar should. It's an awful lot of fun. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. They're the products that are out now or coming out very soon that you should be focused on, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me if there are any picks you've got that I missed. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shout outs on the channel like the lovely James C. Apinski, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is awesome. So shout out to them for being awesome. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.